But how can I be a quitter when haters don't stop? I'm living proof, nigga. It's pretty safe to say. God give it, God take it away. It's the worldwide American way. I'm living proof, nigga. Okay, I'm two skinny guys in the camera right now. Two sweaty guys in the camera. I'm not gonna lie, we were great with the art. I'm enjoying ourselves thoroughly at Living Proof, and this is one of the guys that's definitely behind the scenes making it all happen for the people out there. It's just DJ Snips, and I'm good to catch up with you, brother. You know what I'm saying? So, yeah, like I said, thoroughly enjoyed ourselves so far, and the night's not quite finished yet. We're just like, nice young. Up with you. Nice yeah, the night's nice yet young, you know what I'm saying? So, still plenty of um, people you can, uh, shall I say, mingle with, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> But yeah man, just for the people that um, haven't actually come down, you know what I'm saying, or are definitely missing out, just let them know a little bit about, you know what I'm saying, what they can experience down here at Living Proof, wherever the venue may be. Essentially, Living Proof is a hip hop night, um, and I know that, that that scares people off for one or two reasons. Yeah, yeah hip hop. Yeah, I just scares people off. off because they have that that stigma of oh, it's going to be, you know, drama, fights, you know, like, yeah, well, but also it scares other hip-hop fans off, because they're like, ah, oh, hip-hop, it's going to be a bunch of dudes, no girls, it's just going to be some black man shit, yeah, you know what I mean, like, <laughs> so people get frightened off for one of those two reasons, and mm. like, what we tried to do, I've tried to take, um, I've tried to take, uh, what's the word, like, I've tried to draw on my, my, Clubbing experience when I was younger, going to places like Subterranea, like going to like Westwood parties at the Temple. Right, right, right. I've tried to take that vibe back where it's hip hop, and you know, if you're a real head, you can appreciate it. But at the same time, it's party vibe. You know, like we play everything. You're, 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 you're here, Waka and Rick Ross and, and Ti, and you know, all the big Southern club records. But you might hear some old school track requests, or you know, some old school Wu Tang or whatever. So like, we try and represent that full yeah. spectrum of, of hip hop. Yeah. You know, we it's, it's not. Yeah, we, we, there was like a group of DJs. We got a night on the marketplace on Sunday. Okay. All of us just got together because we were tired of playing the same, same old club, bullshit club, like West End clubs. So we yeah, like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Bar, we were playing the music. They got we, got one. Yeah, yeah. we did it. We never promoted it at all. We weren't out. It got so big on the Sunday, they gave us a Saturday. We did marketplace for a couple of years. It got so grand, like marketplace fits like the passes that one for Yeah, yeah. We were getting 200 people in there. That's so we were turning yeah, yeah. away, no lie, more than 200 people at the door. Like it was, it was disgusting. The whole, okay. like, so and this was no promotion. It was yeah, just, yeah. Everyone was, and I think the crazy thing is, everybody was telling us, ah, oh, no, no, no one likes it anymore. Do a dumpstep night, you know, okay, do a yeah. whatever night, whatever's trendy. Like right now, I've got people telling me to do yeah, a fucking funky, movie right, yeah, 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 Like so, we stuck to our guns. We did a hip hop night, and like now. Like every single night that pops up around East London is a hip hop night. You know, everything is like that old school, yeah, yeah, yeah old school night zone hip hop. You know, that's, that's, that's the vibe right now. That's what everybody's on. That's what the, that's what the trendy kids are listening to. Mm -hmm. So, you know, I feel like we've been, you know, into we, we, we've been part of the reason the London club scene has kind of turned around. That, that might upset some people. We've got it done, man. We've been doing this for four years now. Really, we're spreading shit. I mean, shout out to all the other nights, though. Shout out to working, shout out to party, shout out to all the people. Um, shouts to Bang Bang, 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 you know, like, there's a lot of guys doing their thing. Yeah, 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 yeah. So, yeah, can you kind of just talk about, like, the, the inception of, like, a way of written there? You talked about it briefly there, but obviously yeah. you, um, you, you worked at the, uh, the Dylan Road days, and obviously a lot of people yeah, will appreciate those things, you know what I'm saying? It kind of came from that as well, because, um, like, for those that remember Dilwyn Records on Carmel Street, um, next door there was a, a sneaker shop with Sam and Kips as well. Shouts to Maggie and Q who were, who were running that at the time. And um, they both cl closed down at the, at the same time. And that was kind of like a central hub of um, of like like hip hop heads and mothers to kind of meet. Yeah? Whether, you, whether you went to the fashion side or the music side or whatever, that was kind of where everyone met. You go down to the, the, to the ventures outside of Carmel Street on Friday. There's hundreds of people out there, so Living Proof kind of tied in with when that all ended. Like, yeah. We started Living Proof because like, I think we were going to go to Islamic Kip, so he's kind of like part of the inception of the night as well. He's still like, you know, spending time into the night, so good shout out to him. So we kind of, you know, everybody that was involved, I used to run the fight nights and deal with Rob Brown, you know, um, Rags yeah. and Khalil, who run the night and yeah. they used to work there, so. Uh, so he was kind of a rapper side there. Yeah, yeah definitely, I mean, man, definitely. definitely. Like, yeah, it's crazy, man. Like, a lot. Of that's where you kind of um, catch wreck, as they say, you know what I'm saying? That's where you came down there to prove your point. Yeah, a lot of people and their strikes. Yeah. Like, a lot of big people, man. Like, like I'm talking you know, low-key, low key, but like even like Estelle, Sway, like, oh, all of wow. them were coming through deal with Clash, Kaiser. Yeah. Um, a lot of people came through there, man. Um, 
English brand, yeah. when he was friend in front, yeah, cool. he was a Dilroy cool. Wembley styler, yeah. yeah. all of the double people, like, like, yeah, a lot of people came through Dilroy, man, like, that was, you could definitely earn a stripe from it today, man. Yeah, straight up, man. So yeah man, obviously we're promoting the night, I definitely recommend it, it's not even like a gaslighting thing, one of them YouTube, like, just talking shit things, we, we have a thoroughly good time right here man, down at Living Proof, you know what I'm saying, without a doubt, so definitely check it out, but as a, as a personal thing, obviously you've got other things going on, you know what I'm saying, you've got your production stuff, you're going over to the States and stuff like, so you've experienced different kind of cultures and whatnot, so if you can just like, kind of talk about what you've been up to in the last, you know what I mean, couple of years or what? Yeah, definitely, um, before I do, just to recap on the Living Proof, yeah, cool. Um, last Saturday of every month, uh, generally we're at camp, which is 7 to 74, City Road, next to Old Street Station. It's £5 a night, don't hurt the pocket. We do other parties, so make sure you check out the website, livingproof.co.uk. That's living with no G, L I V I N P R O O F .co.uk. And um, yeah, we'll keep you updated with all the parties going on. Um, so with that said and done, um, yeah, no, production cool. stuff, I mean, I'm doing a lot, man. Like obviously, I work. Um, I DJ and I work closely with SAS. Big shouts to them. Um, Galaxy Fly is out now, so go and pop that. Um, I'm about to drop a single as well called British Accent, oh, featuring okay. SAS and Malik from um, Orange Dog. So, okay. big shouts to Malik. We're gonna do a remix of that as well. There's, there's, there's gonna be a couple of things that I can't really speak on. Just okay. Okay. Yeah, but all right. It's definitely right. coming out. Um, what else, man? Like, yeah, I'm trying to do stuff on both sides of the Atlantic, man. Like, I'm working on. Um, Obviously, I'm, I'm putting out the next Crash Course 2 CD for Skylar, that's coming as well. Um, there's, a, there's a couple of things kind of in the works, like a couple of people I've been talking to that, you know, yeah. run through beats and whatnot. Um, might be doing something with, uh, with uh, I, I know he's not calling himself Don Strapsy now, but... Yeah, 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 yeah. Professional and all that. Yeah, gonna get something popping with him. Um, yeah, man, in the States-wise, um, Working with a lot, a lot of underground artists, man, like yeah. inside like, for Sky Zoo, um, uh, <laughs> Triumph from Theodore Unit, Ghostfaces, dude. I see. Um, yeah. A couple of tracks from his album. Drive Diesel, um, yeah. Drive Diesel, yeah. Oh, I did two, two tracks on the last, on the last album. Is that better than than ever? Was that? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, two tracks I did on that, man. Oh, serious? Yeah, yeah. No, I need to know, bro. We get it in. And uh, we get it in and heads or tails. Heads or tails? Oh, oh, bro. Heads or tails is a banger, bro. So I did that. Better late than ever. Get that album, man. Big album. So what else? Um, yeah, man. I mean, do you know what? There's a lot of stuff pending. I mean, anyone, anyone who does the production thing and like you know, goes to the states and it like big shouts to um Dreddy and Beat Butcher actually because they're two of the producers that I really respect highly and they spend a lot of time in the states. So I know they'll feel me when I say this, but if I was to tell you all the people that have picked beats off of me, right, all the meetings I've been in, all the interest I've got. The kind of like, because when you got to look at it, it's like, all right, if I go up to June, yeah, yeah. which I've been up to a bunch of times, yeah. and I've had shit for Banksy's project, I've had shit for Yellow's project, yeah. but the way it works is that you'll get 200 beats, say, yeah. picked for the album, yeah, okay. that they'll like. 200, yeah, they'll pick like 200 records, wow. yeah, they'll like hundreds and hundreds of beats, yeah, they'll probably record on 30 of them, yeah, maybe. Or maybe even more, yeah? And then a bunch of them will get leaked on the mixtape. Right, right. And then a bunch of shit they recorded will never come out, never see the light of day. And if, if it's not going to see the light of day, the producer will never know that it's been recorded on. And then, you know, the final 12 for the album or whatever. So, yeah, exactly. you know, it's, it's not, it sounds like a gassing thing, but it's not, it's not a massive deal to get up in one of these labels in the States, get interest for your music, and then it's kind of like, as it goes through the stages, it just gets lost in, lost in the work. So, but, you know, there, there are a couple of things pending with some some major label US artists at the moment that, you know, fingers crossed, yeah. you know, something's gonna happen. Anyway, I'm just gonna see. Oh, the one I can say definitely, um, I'm gonna be doing a couple of joints for MOP. Oh, um, nice. That's, that's, that's definite. Um, and uh, who else? Um, I don't know if you've heard of Charlie Dix. Oh, of course, yeah, Dude man. from Harlem. Yeah, yeah, yeah. From Harlem. Like, yeah, yeah. Battling yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Aver, bro, soon. Yeah, Look out, yeah, bro. There's something with Matt Hoffer as well, man. Yeah, yeah, like, I see that, bro. Yeah, yeah man. Battle guys, yeah, like, math, man. The whole Latin YB, Matt Hoffer, all them like Cortez, that's, that's, that's family. I just did something um, actually with Cortez, Illogy, um, Rusty Jooks, oh, for real. Boy, and um, South Kills as well. Oh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Some curly shit, yeah, man. Um, that's, that's gonna be out there on the next J. Rowling mixtape, though. Oh, yeah, yeah. all Shouts to Mark Ball, yeah. family, yeah. family, family, family yeah. over there in the States as well. Shouts yeah. to Graves, too, like UK, whatever. Yeah, Graves, so, yeah, for real, man. Shout so, yeah, man, but obviously, shouts to the whole Euro gang. Um, you know, like I said, working a lot with SAS. Um, shouts to Graves, working a lot with him. Um, 
Aquila. We are fucking big, obviously the big shit is crazy right now. I just did something. Oh, link, out now, man. Yeah, I did something on that as well. I did that. I redid the, um, the, the, what's it called? Uh, the Damier flow. Oh. Yeah, that was that one. Oh, that was that one. That was my man. We're killing, we're killing that. If anyone heard tonight, I just want to play the remix. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Exactly. Same with Reddit. Same with Reddit. Same with Reddit. Same with I like the way you throw the UK in there, bro. You know Definitely. what I mean? Yeah. Shout out to Smiler as well, man. Smiler's another guy that yeah, you know, yeah. since my mother Judith made him get in the studio. So, big shout out to Smiler too. Yeah. Alright, before we get over and out, man, obviously we've got business to take care of. You know what I'm saying? There's a question we like to ask everyone, bro. Like, your biggest pleasure and pain in the game. Like, is there a music game your biggest high and low kind of thing? There's stuff that keeps you going and there's stuff that we will get the low points when we don't want that even. I mean, the low points are kind of almost obvious when you, when, you, when you do this shit a lot. It's like, you know, it's not easy, man. Like, if you're if you're out there trying to, like, I do music as a career. I don't do a 9 to 5. I've done a 9 to 5 for 7 years. And I don't, I don't do anything else. I don't hustle. I don't, like, I do music, innit? I pay my rent on music, like, you know, like, but, like Bro, man, yeah, no, man, no, no, no. I'm glad that people can still so, do that, bro. Yeah, and, 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 and it's a hustle. I can't just do one thing. Like, I've got to do, like, run club nights, sell beats, do mixtapes, tour, all, all of this shit. Like, all together kind of works as a, as a way for me to make money. But, um, so there's definitely loads because, you know, obviously, music is a, it's a really, um, like, it's a really materialistic and quite, um, it's quite a false industry. So, you know, Trying to keep up with, with the trends is bullshit, really. But you have to do it. Like you have to keep up with, 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 with things that might not necessarily interest you, just in order to still remain relevant and still try to, you know, like like there's, there's a lot of artists I love, yeah, and it's still stuff in like I love that style of music. I love all that style of music, but but they're not, you know, then then then. Because they want a downward slope because they're not willing to embrace what's going on. So it is a load for me to have to at times embrace shit that is foreign to me. You know, like a lot of the, a lot of the UK music that comes out now, it's, it, it don't touch me in the same way. It's it, like it's barely hip hop. But I know that you know, in order for me to continue to make a career out of music and not have to go and do something else that I don't want to do, I've got to embrace it. So that's definitely the low. Um, the highest, the high, being on stage with DJ, man, it, like, it doesn't get, I don't get more of a high level. Buzz I love that buzz. I love, I love seeing, I love getting that reaction back from the crowd when I play the records that I, that I truly like and, 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 and truly believe in. So you're jumping in thick and fast as well, man. Yeah, of course, man. <laughs> like, I, come from that, that, I come from that old school sense of DJ, man. I could like, you know, like New York DJs like Funk Flex and Kick and those guys where they'll, they'll play 500 records in an hour set, you know. Right, right. Like, you know, to me that's the end of the DJ and finding the hypest part of a record. You know, and there's guys in the UK to do it, man. Like I like, you know, I, I kind of grew up watching like Manny Norte, Shorty Blitz, Mr. Thing. You know, these guys are real DJs. You know, DJ Swing, rest in peace to him. He was like a massive inspiration to me. And the way they DJ is like, you know, nowadays you see a DJ tweeting in the booth. Or having a fag and be like, come on, man, like, if you're really DJ, you, you don't have time to tweet by your DJ. Like, tweet afterwards, innit? Like, you don't have time to be sitting there, texting, play a record, chill out. Like, like nah, like, energy, innit? Like, like, you wouldn't see a rapper get on stage and, like, stop the show and start tweeting. So, as a DJ, you should be good to see the show. What, what, what should we end up tweeting at the next set? Next set I do, like, just something that will you out, Someone's gonna be like, oh, we're gonna, gonna mention you and shit when you do that, right? We're gonna catch you up. We're talking about Twitter, let them know where they can hit you up and whatnot. And yeah, man, let them know what's good for the future. Obviously, like I said, every last Saturday of the month, you can catch Snips and me and Bones as well down at Living Proof, man. So let them know the, the um, final details and whatnot. Yeah, yeah, um, so yeah, like I said, um, 70 to 74 City Road, Old Street, um, uh, the venue's called Camp CAMP. Um, and yeah, we're here last Saturday of every month. Um, sometimes we have changed venues depending if we do bigger events, but um, definitely keep up with the website, um, liverproof.co.uk, and then we'll, we'll keep you all posted. Also, like, just go with Liverproof on Facebook. There's a group there if you type in Liverproof and find a group. Add yourself to the group. Keep you updated with all the parties. Uh, follow myself on Twitter. There's anything I'm doing, like, you know, we, we have the radio show as well on ntslive.co.uk. Um, we do that 8 to 10 every Thursday. Um, if you can't tune in, Go onto the website ncslive.co.uk and then we are in the SoundCloud link to listen to the to the previous shows. Um, but yeah, follow myself on Twitter at DJ Snips because I'm like I'm busy, man. Like at least two or three nights out of the week, I'm, I'm spinning somewhere. You know what I mean? See, like, one of these parties, playing my vibe, doing what I do, like, playing hip hop records. Like 
Like people are surprised they'll come to clubs where they don't expect to hear a hip hop set or they don't expect to hear a hip hop set that will go down well and you know we were surprised we at first. Like, you know, yeah, yeah, Choose your job, I'm seeing the girls saying the lyrics, I'm like, they know these shoes. Hip hop's still party music if you do it right. It's not, it doesn't have to be some, it doesn't have to either be some mad, wanna be screwed face, fuck shit with dudes in the corner. At the same time, it doesn't have to be some leafy little backpack, anorak, comparing your feet notes in the back of the club. Let's have a cypher in the smoking area. Yeah, like, it's like, we're trying to find a freestyle. Yeah, doubt, man. Oh, you know what? One question before Quick we do go, yeah. A little to end it on a light note, brother. We are some artists. What they rather do, yeah? Would yeah. you rather situation? Right. Would you rather? Obviously, you're a producer. You know what I'm saying. Have a track with Jay Z. Yeah. Right. Four minutes of passion with Beyonce. This is what the people at home really want to know, bro. Wow. A lot of people, you know what I mean, find this a very hard question. You know what I'm saying? They try and dodge it, but we need to get down Could to I, the, the facts of the matter, bro. Could I have? A short freestyle with Jay Z that I produced and two minutes of passion with Beyonce because that'll be good. I, 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 only take long with I only need two minutes. I'm good with two minutes. Don't get it twisted, any girls watching. Not normally. Yeah, but, but Beyonce, Beyonce, come on. Two come minutes, on, I'm, good. I'm good. I'm good. I'm good with two minutes. Nah, nah, real talk. Um, it's a tough one. It's a tough one, but you know what? Like, it's business like, over pleasure. I'll tell you what, it will be a track with Jay Z. Yeah, like, business over pleasure. Business over pleasure, because you know what? I do a track with Jay Z, I find a chick hotter than Beyonce anyway. <laughs> Come on, straight up, man. I'll take, you know, I'll take a four-minute track with Jay Z, yeah, and then I'll take four minutes with Solange. I'll do that, definitely. Straight up, I'm working with Jay Z. I'll back Solange, easy. Straight up, that's the strike for my man. All right, so signing off, man. Let me find the words from DJ Slips Living Proof. We're definitely co-signing the event, man. Get down there. No doubt, DJ Slips Living Proof. You're all gang at DJ Slips. Follow me on Twitter. Up. There you go, man. We're all run out for another interview. Get involved, man. You know the Facebook, the Twitter, get involved. Come down here, and you know I'm saying a lot of, you know what I mean, attractive young ladies. You don't come with like girls like coming. Like don't get it twisted. Like, don't think our hip hop is a girl coming out here. Like, trust me, trust me. Trust me. Yeah. You're in their face. And you know what? I'm not gonna lie, that, that even that female DJ you had. Oh, yeah, um, come out to DJ Shimmy, all the way from LA as well. So on that note, we're gonna get on into the party and do ourselves a little bit more exciting. Cheers, skinny guys in the camera. DJ Smith, but fun.